It's D-Day for competitors at the Mitsubishi Big Show Team Roping Championships, warming up their horses and keeping them cool. As aspiring young ropers work on their techniques outside, professional cowboys and cowgirls begin filling inside Tamworth's ALEC Arena. What started as a ranch chore in the 18th century is now one of the fastest growing rodeo events down under. And the Mitsubishi Big Show is the richest team roping event in the Southern Hemisphere. Well, let's get her underway, a fast game's a good game. This year's open event is run in one day with two head of cattle. The winning team is the one with the fastest average time. In the first round, Stephen Mapp and Claybush get off to a great start. Stephen Mapp gets you up, gets one around the corner for Claybush, rides in there, sets a trap, catch a cow, oh yeah, time on the board. They become the early leaders as the first team to record a time under six seconds. Ben Smith and Jay Wadhams jump out quickly. Get him round, oh boy, oh boy. But they miss the catch. Ben Smith soon gets another chance to change his luck with Brody Moss. A couple of very, very accomplished cowboys going for the big bucks on the show here at the big show. Their time of 5.05 would have been the fastest so far, but only roping one leg means a five second penalty. The field of competitors in this year's Rock and W Ranch Opens contest includes some of the best in Australia and overseas. The youngest roper, 17-year-old Darcy Kirsch from Charters Towers, is no stranger to success. The young man you're watching won two. That's right, two Mitsubishi motor cars here in the year of 2015 at the inaugural Mitsubishi Big Show. Here they have a chance to take home a bonus, the $220 electric blue bounty steer prize. When I around the corner, Darcy Kirsch gets one. Oh, we're on the electric blue bounty steer. You've got to be under six, boys. And it is. Their time of 5.78 sets them up comfortably for round two. Former Australian champion Shane Kenny is up now with Jay Wadhams. Here's a team to be reckoned with, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what. Shane Kenny, get one around the bend. Oh, yeah. Fetch him. Stretch him. What did I tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Another qualified time on the board. Checking the fastest qualifiers now from round one and Shane Kenny and Jay Wadham's time of 5.13 is unmatched. Ben Smith and Stephen Mapp are close behind, followed again by Shane Kenny, this time with healer Brendan Kenny. In fourth spot, it's Stephen Mapp with Clay Bush. Heath Nichols and Clay Bush round out the top five. In the second and deciding round, more than $50,000 in cash and prizes is on the line. Heath Litchfield and Aaron Bookluck are the first in the final 15 to secure two clean runs over two head. At this stage, we would be looking at new average leaders right there and also a Calcutta leader. But their lead doesn't last long as Ben Smith and Blake Hallam go for the overtake. One, two, let it go. Fetches him. Oh, Blake Hallam stretches him. A 6.26 to go on top of their five, eight, seven. Unofficially, a new average leader with 12.13. Darcy Kirsch and Brody Moss keep up with the competition, showing coordination and cooperation. Set yourself for the trap, Cowboys. Stretch him out. Face each other. 5.96. Nice way to put the heat on. With a total time of 11.74, they become the team to beat. But Shane Kenny and Brendan Kenny, the boys from Emerald and Clermont, know how to perform under pressure. Oh, yeah, boy. That'll do. Good enough for the girls. I go out with gentlemen. Let's get a time on the board of 5.46. Gives them a time of 10.82. Currently puts them in the lead. Well, the screws have definitely been tightened. Time for the last run. Shane Kenny is the guaranteed competition winner, but has a chance to go one better with another partner, American healing specialist, Jay Wadhams. Shane Kenny out one, two around the corner. Oh, nice handle. Jay Wadham, get in there and get your pair. 5.68, it is oh so close. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had to pull out the abacus counter for this one. We've got to just check our numbers. Their time to beat is 10.82. Sean, tell them the news. Your time at the completion of that run was 10.81. They take out the Rock and W Ranch Open competition by one one hundredth of a second. You know, I love being backed in the corner because it actually brings out the best and you makes you compete better. Any type of a win is a good win, but uh, when you're out of your realm, as I am, being from the United States and coming to Australia, 
It, uh, it, it feels really good. The two winners take home a Rock and W Ranch Trophy saddle, Ceratelli hat, pair of boule boots, Hyde's compression suit, and a Ride Tough Trophy belt buckle, and just over eight thousand dollars in cash. Sixteen thousand and fifty-eight dollars for the team. Congratulations. If you want to stay in touch with everything Oz Rodeo, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Oz Rodeo for exclusive content and updates as we travel throughout Australian rodeo heartland.